Green, we all know the color. We are all, uh, I would say, not all, all is a bad word. We as a beauty community are probably a little bit intimidated by it. I was definitely intimidated by it at first because it is not something that people are used to seeing on eyes, but you know what? Green is trees, green is money, green is St. Patrick's Day. So it has a lot to offer the world. So I have actually developed a very strong love of using the color green in eye looks. And like I said, it is something that's taken me a very long time to get comfortable with, but I have two really great palettes that I think really highlight the shade green. And we're gonna do a green eye look today because why not? We've done red, we've done purple, green's the next step in the chain. I don't know if that's true or not. I've never actually looked at a rainbow. What am I saying right now? I don't know. Let's talk about makeup. Okay. So I have one affordable and one, what I would classify as a pricey palette. Both of them really do a great job of just highlighting shades of green. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Makeup Revolution, the Precious Stone Emerald palette. That's what my man's looks like on the inside. Lots of really nice dark green shades, but not a really ton of, not a really ton. I don't think, I know that's not proper English. Not a ton of bright green shades, but that, I honestly grabbed this palette just to have a couple nice dark shades and a couple light white shades and blending shades, because what I really wanna focus on is the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette, which I think does a great job of just really giving you the absolute green package, everything you could possibly want. You have like a nice mint green, you've got like a deep, kind of bold green. You've got this kind of almost like an olive brown green, and then you've got just a ton of glitter pigments as well. So we are going to do something with that today. I'm probably gonna do eyeliner uh, with it as well because I really liked how that worked with the purple eyes, but I probably won't do much of that on camera because I don't wanna waste an hour and a half of your lives because uh, it's about how long it takes me to uh, get my eyeliner to be even and, and they are never even. They're just kind of like somewhat cousins. Like they go to a picnic and they're like, I think I, we're related somehow, but I'm not sure how. That's what they always look like. So I won't make you guys watch that and suffer through it. But let us get started with the actual color scheme, of what we're gonna do today, figuring this out. I'm gonna start with the uh, Makeup Revolution palette because I wanna give it just a little bit of a base color. And with the base color, I'm gonna go in with Chromatic, which is just like kind of a nice neutral brown. And I'm just gonna do kind of a wide, like up top general dusting just to give it like a nice kind of, I wanna say shadow effect because that's really what I mean is like the nice like shadow effect, but that doesn't really make sense in context of using eyeshadows because it just sounds like, like obviously what are you doing? But you guys know what I'm talking about, like, you know, standing in the sunlight and it cast a shadow, that type of shadow. So that's what I'm going for, just putting a little bit of color up here. Same thing on the other side, cause we gotta make them look like distant cousins. They have to look somewhat related or they don't. I actually, I'm a really big fan. I haven't done it on camera, but I really need to because I keep seeing those like the mismatched eye looks where people do like inverse color. Well, I actually, I lie, I did technically do one. When we were doing our Christmas sweater eye look, I did kind of that, but it, it, it didn't, it wasn't that exaggerated. But I really love that. Like when people go like, oh, I'm gonna do one eye pink, one eye blue. And I, I just, I love it. I need to do it on camera because I really do think it's just absolutely cool. All right, now we've got this some shading going on. Let's jump in with green. I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna go, we're gonna go ham. We're gonna go in with this bright color right here because that is really the one that I just love in this palette. I, I, every time I open it up, I'm just like, dang, that is such a pretty green color. And there's almost, it's almost a similar shade in the, the uh, Makeup Revolution palette, this Majestic is kind of similar, but there's just a little bit of like a darkerness to the Huda one. And I want to, I want to use that one. That's the one that I'm being called to use. That's the one that is calling to my heart. So that's the one we're going to go with. Oh, it's just so, it's so bright and I love it. I just love it. The dog is like free roaming now. She just kind of goes wherever the hell she wants, which like we used to be like, wait, we got to make sure that somebody's in the room with you. Cause we don't know what you're going to do. And now she's just like, I own this place. So I want to go lay down. I'm going to go lay down. I don't care who's here. I think everybody in our house has like hardcore puppy fever. Like my parents, because especially with us about to like move out and talking about the house and buying the house and they know Rocky's gonna be gone soon. Wow, I don't know what is going on here versus here, but it's gonna take me a hot minute to adjust that. My parents are like mentally preparing to have Rocky move out because she's been here now for over a year and they love her because I knew that they would. That being said, they keep looking at uh, dogs 
on the internet but then they're like oh the dog's gone because they don't ever like contact anybody about it obviously which is i mean we all do that with everything like, we all shop online and we're like oh i'd love to have that and then you know you're like it's just not the right time but they really they they need a pet like they they need to go ahead and just bite the bullet and get another dog i keep telling them they should do it before we move out so that way rocky gets adjusted to the dog and they can because obviously i mean she's still going to come over and see them because she loves them and they love her so she's still going to want to like come over and visit and if the dog's here she's going to be like what you replaced me because that's what she does but anyway we saw this precious dog online last night he's like kind of looks like Rocky, but he's like a, a, a black version because Rocky's white and, and brown. He's like a black and got like a little bit of white highlights on him. It just was absolutely precious. And, and now I think everybody in our household is kind of still just thinking about this dog. <laughs> okay, so I cleaned up just a little bit, kind of cleaned up around the eyes over here to try and make it a little bit more even. Um, I did add just a little bit of the mint shade on top of this, but I'm gonna go in with more because what I'm picturing, especially with the idea of the eyeliner is I'm going to do the mints all over this part. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. I love it, I love it. That's one of my favorite shades. I just, oh. And there's, I have yet to find any other palette that has anything even remarkably like that. It's gorgeous. Um, sorry, anyway, got distracted by how much I love that. Um, so I'm gonna do this. I don't think I'm gonna do glitter on my lid like I normally would do. I'm just gonna do the eyeliner. We're gonna do a little bit of that and then we'll do a highlight of one of the really beautiful lighter shades of the, um, the green, I th the glitter green. I think this one is the one I'm gonna wind up going with. And we're gonna do that kind of around the uh, the lining itself. I think that's gonna turn out really, really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna add just a little bit. Cause this side, this side and this side are like, they're just like shared variation. It's just a little bit different. <laughs> I think I went heavy handed with the dark on this side of the eye, uh, which it do be like that. So here we are just out here trying our best, living our lives, doing our thing, you know? Ooh, and then I threw, and then I threw it on the ground mentally preparing myself to do eyeliner, which I am not good at. We've all seen it. It is yeah, a tragedy uh, to say the least, but that's fine. It's, you know, accept your shortcomings. Here we are. I'm accepting the fact that I'm not meant to do eyeliner, but I'm just gonna keep forcing myself to do it until I get slightly better, hopefully. Uh, Okay, so I'm using the Laura Geller uh, eye calligraphy, which I didn't use last time, which is a mistake because I, this is my favorite and there's a reason because I, I feel like it just works so well. I'm gonna do my best to make it follow kind of the shape that I've created here. I love how people like just, they just, they go like woo 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 and they're done and I'm like, the hell just happened? Meanwhile, I'm over here like, it's like I'm writing left-handed, it's awful. All right, I have a general shape. It's not a good one, but it's general. All right, I think I can go in and fix it up. Hopefully. All right, okay. This is looking okay. This is still looking a little. I'm just gonna keep throwing thumbs up until something hopefully gets better. And now because I know there's no way in hell that I'm gonna be able to make them match perfectly and it's gonna absolutely crush my soul. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this eye because I really wanna see how one looks all nice before I ruin the other one and then I'm like. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and just do a little bit of blending out with the green. And now we gonna get some glitter on this little man. On my man. Oh, I just, everything is rolling away. It's all going away. It's so funny. I haven't used the Maybelline Colossal Mascara in years. Like I don't, I, I don't know why, but it's just, I was getting so many like kits and stuff that had mascaras in it or, you know, free gifts that came with mascaras or whatever. So I have a huge collection of them and this was just a free gift that came with one of the Ulta ones that I got a while ago. And I pulled it out today and I was like, oh, I always like this one. I'm gonna use this today. And oh my gosh, it is so good. I need to use this more. Wow, my stomach is really loud right now. If you guys can hear it on the audio, I'm not sure you can, but you might be able to because our mic is pretty decent. Uh, I'm so sorry. Did not realize I was this hungry. Feed me. All right. Yes. This, this, don't, don't look. Just look at, just appreciate. Yes. 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 Slay. Slay a bitch. Like, okay. No. Now I gotta make this one match. I really just want to quit right now while I'm ahead, but like, I we didn't come here to quit. Came here to do makeup. So <laughs> here we go. Okay, no lie, we turn off the camera. I spent a full 20 minutes trying to make this eye match. I did my best, it's not perfect. It is definitely like the black sheep of the family, but uh, it, it, 
it looks somewhat okay. So I actually really love how the eye look turned out, especially on this side. Like if we can just like pretend like that side doesn't exist, it's great. I love it. I'm very excited. I really, I love green. I just, I don't play with it enough. And that's why I wanted to do a video highlighting it because I really think there's so much that we can do with it if we just like are not afraid of it. Um, But yeah, I hope you guys like the video too. Sorry about this eye. Um, it's going to rehab and hopefully one day it will fix its life. But right now it's not that day. So uh, other than that, if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and it makes me feel nice, which is uh, always a plus because I need all the encouragement I can get. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to D Dark Angel Beauty, please consider doing so. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you can see every time we post new content. Uh, right now, I am trying my best to just come up with things to entertain you guys while I know so many of us are still in quarantine or self-isolating. So uh, if you have any suggestions for videos or new products that are coming out that you would like me to buy and review for you, then uh, drop that in the comments. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.